Copilot Pro is the super AI you need right now. So what can it do for you? And what makes it more super than the regular Copilot or any of those other AIs? And how much will it cost? The true superpower of any AI is data. The future would be entirely calculable. And here Copilot's superpower is that it's part of the Office apps, so it has access to all of that data. Need to summarize a long email thread? No problem. Want to create a whole presentation from just a few lines of text? Easy. Have to get the important information from some boring data points? Done. With Copilot Pro, all of the Office apps now have the Copilot icon right up here. So it's just as simple as clicking Copilot and start typing, right? Well, not exactly. The super secret here is there's actually three different Copilot Pros. Personal, Business, and Enterprise. That can't be true. Now to get Copilot Pro's personal version, first you're going to need a Microsoft 365 personal or family subscription. Then the personal Copilot Pro can be purchased on top of that for $20 per user. Oh, and for some reason, these must be purchased in two separate transactions or... It's gonna blow up in your face. Now on the business side, Copilot Pro is $30 per user per month. And you get all of that office integration that we already talked about, plus advanced analytics and insights and in how your team's productivity patterns are going, and some enhanced security and compliance. And of course, integration with all of the other Microsoft products and services you are already using. I did not expect to get so good. Then we have Copilot Pro for the enterprise, also $30 a month per user, and you get all of those other Copilot integrations that we talked about for personal and for business, and other integrations like to GitHub, Slack, Jira, and more. And there's even out there a Copilot Studio, which is a smart low code tool where you can make your own custom GPTs that can be shown off here in your own internal Copilot. And you can make that for your own apps, programs, services, internal processes, or whatever else you can imagine. Then you have to be signed into Windows and Office with your Microsoft account. And then there's one more thing. You need to enable autosave. This will store the file that you're working with over in OneDrive, then you can open up Copilot and you're ready to save the world. Unless you're a conspiracy theorist who believes Microsoft is secretly feeding our AI overlords all of your OneDrive files, stealing all of your privacy so it can take over the world. <laughs> is that true? This is war, my friend. It's not a conspiracy theory, per se. In PowerPoint, Copilot can add onto your presentation or even enhance it, but there are limits. For example, you still need to pick your theme and a slide design. But Copilot is gonna be getting more features over time, so stay tuned. Things that it can do now are like changing this graphic to something that shows scale a little bit better just by a little bit of typing. Or you can even ask it to set a random transition between all of your slides. Nice. And you can also use Copilot on the web versions of Office. And wherever you've got your Copilot prompt open, you can click right over here and see a list of everything that it can do. And there could even be a link right here to see even more prompts that you can have. And that's not all. Copilot can also move like the flash to all of your mobile devices. You got mail. Over here in Outlook, you can tell Copilot what it is you want to say. Just type into the prompt and then ask it to do the rest. It could help you to even make it shorter, more engaging, or change your tone. And then you can even go back here to all of the different versions to see which one you like best. And I love the ability to just tap right up here and summarize a long email thread so I quickly know what's going on. And who doesn't love Teams? I hate meetings. Did you ever get out of a long meeting and thought that really could have just been an email? Well, now you can take care of that because Copilot will attend every meeting for you. That way, if you can't make it and you don't have the time to watch all of the recordings, Copilot can just give you a quick summary or even let you know if there's any questions that haven't been answered during the meeting. And by the way, Copilot does not require Teams transcriptions or recordings to be turned on for this feature to work. It just does it in real time. Do you have any notes for me? Now I use OneNote a lot. And if you do too, click the thumbs up and help a brother out. And here are some notes that I did about improving people's presentation skills. And it's a whole big mess right now. So Copilot can take that and make a quick to-do list from it all in just seconds. 
Now I can share these as organized thoughts instead of my typical ramblings. Then for all of you data nerds, we have Excel. Hey, I mean, nerds rule the world. Now Excel does have two current limitations. First, Copilot is only available in English today. And second, Copilot can only work with table data for now. Now, if I start by clicking over here and open up Copilot, it's gonna tell me that it has nothing that it can work with. But if I select all of this table data, now I can go back to my prompt and I can even click right here and just get some trends or insights. And you can of course follow that up with some questions about those trends and better visualize the data and even add some highlights to show what's actually going on. And if you wanna get real fancy, you can even ask Copilot to do some projections of what it thinks will happen next. Copilot Pro is an amazing upgrade to Office, but the real question here is which Copilot will you choose? Or maybe you're thinking about ChatGPT Plus. Oh yeah, there's a lot more to learn about AI because it's only gonna get better. So happy learning.